Hi, this is Jenny Oya with Nuggets and Things. <laughs> Today we want to talk a little bit about everybody sometimes get this thing about, you know, being the black sheep of the family. You know, I'm the black sheep. So now exactly what does that mean? How do you <laughs> define yourself as the black sheep of the family or the black sheep? What does that mean to you? You know, a lot of people when they hear that, they hear it and feel like it's a negative thing. But really, when you think about it, that means you're different. This means you're different. And you know, something I told my children ever since they were young, I taught them this, dare to be different. Don't, you know, don't try to be like everybody else. You know, everybody else is doing that. So you do something different. You know, everybody's, you know, dressing like that. So you dress different. They're wearing their hair this way. You wear yours different. You know, just, just dare to be different. So, if being the black sheep, as they say it, is, you know, means you're different, then just be different. But it ain't a bad thing. <laughs> you know, sometimes people want to go with the majority. Everybody's moving right. So you decide you want to go left. Oh, why are you doing that? Everybody's doing this. Because I don't feel led to go that way. You know, I'm not unction to move that way. So I'm not. I went out my way to be different. <laughs> I chose to be different because I knew I was. I was different. Doesn't mean that I was declared the black sheep. Somebody else in the family could think the same thing because they want to be different. Didn't want to be, you know, a part of the, you know, everybody's doing this. No. Didn't I, I never, I wanted to be unique. And to me, being the black sheep out of all the white sheep, you're just unique. You're just different. But it doesn't mean it's a bad thing. You do things, you think different. You do it different. You know, you view things differently. Good gracious. <laughs> that ain't no bad thing. It's not a bad thing. So what? If you're the only one who sees it this way, then you do the way you see it. And it may look like it's foolish because everybody else is doing it that way. But down the road, you look, dang, I'm glad I made that decision and did it that way. So many times in life, you find out because the majority rule doesn't mean the majority was right. It just means everybody, you know, I have been in so many meetings. I'm telling you, I can't even tell you how many meetings. They always want me to be the spokesperson. I said, nah, <laughs> no, you speak for yourself. <laughs> Because I'm going to speak for me. <laughs> I'm going to speak for me. Mm -hmm. If I don't agree, I'm going to tell you I don't agree. <laughs> Period. And, you know, and then in the meeting, everybody, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, while the supervisor or whoever is talking, they, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you know, you know, like little robots. Mm -hmm. He just a nod. <laughs> And writing it down, yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all think, yeah, 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 because they said it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm sitting there looking. Hmm. <laughs> and and they would sometimes hate to call on me because they know when they call on Jenny, oh, yeah. <laughs> she going to say something totally different. You know, no. Most times, I mean, I can, sometimes I'm saying, you know, okay, yeah. Because sometimes I believe in this. I believe to agree. Let's, uh, let's agree to disagree. Because I don't, I mean, I'm not, I don't believe what you said. I don't agree with what you said, but let's just agree to disagree because it's not worth the battle or the argument, but I don't agree with it. <laughs> okay. But let's keep it moving. I'm going to go to page two because page one ain't working for me. <laughs> you know, and it's okay. It's okay if your ideals differ from someone else. It's okay. It's okay that somebody does not see the, the see what you see. That's okay too. But to make you change your mind from what you believe, what you see, you know what you're seeing. You know what you're doing. And somebody's telling you, nah, nah, that ain't nah, that ain't right. Why? Because it's not right to you. Okay, don't do it. How many times have you heard somebody say, you see, I'm trying to slow down the way I'm talking? Because <laughs> I talk fast like my mama. <laughs> But how many times have you heard somebody tell you something and say, you know, you agree. I mean, you know, this is how they, you know, and you look at them and say, hey, if that's the way you see it, then you do that. Look, I'm not here to change your mind. People call me many times for advice. 
And I listened to him. When I was younger and unlearned, I would give out advice. Later on down the line, I realized, hey, wait a minute. If the advice that I gave didn't turn out the way they wanted to, guess who was held responsible? <laughs> so I stopped giving advice. I said, look, I can't know. I'm not making a decision for you. When you make your decision, it's going to be based off of information. I'm going to give you some information on what you asked. So I got information for you. Now, I'm going to lay before you the information. Now, you take that information and you make a decision. Because I ain't making one for you. Because this is your life, right? And if it goes right, you're going to be excited about it. Because you made a good decision. If it goes wrong, you're going to say, Dang, I should have done such a thing. But you know, still, you learn something from even making the wrong decision. You went the wrong way. You still gonna learn something from that. Don't beat yourself so badly on things that you do because you're not gonna always get it right. You're not gonna always, you know, be, you know, center on. You know, there are, there are gonna be days that you're gonna be feeling it. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. And some days you're like, I don't feel nothing. <laughs> it's okay. But back into being about the black sheep or, you know, being the odd one. Let's go being the odd one. Being odd. It's so, it's so different. So why you don't do like, you know, why you don't do like your brothers and sisters? How come you don't act like this? How come, you know, because I ain't them. I'm me. I choose to be me. And I, you know, when you make decisions and somebody said, well, I, I wouldn't have done that. And then you look at them and say, well, you didn't. I did. Well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have, no. Well, you didn't, you didn't do that. You cannot live in somebody else's life and neither can you allow them to live in yours. If you are odd, you are different. It's because you chose to be that way. And, and nine times out of 10, when you go down the road a little bit further, because you, because you don't have the answer today, I'm not going to give it to you, but I'm going to tell you this. If you go down the road a little bit further, you're going to realize that why you are considered odd and you do things differently. You know, you were made that way, but you got to figure that out. Why were you made that way? You know, everybody can't be the same. <laughs> you no, know, I say, and people say, you know, oh, oh you, uh, I like your rendition. I said, what's a rendition? Let me go, let me go look that up. <laughs> yeah, you know, you're saying a little bit different. I said, oh, I'm the remix queen. I don't need to sing the song like Patti LaBelle sang the song. She already made her record. She already got famous off of her song. I'm saying the way I feel it, and that's how I'm going to flow with it. If only you knew, it's coming out my way. Compliments of what she did. Period. Same thing with you. You have got something in you that makes you do the things you do. And it does not sometimes compute what somebody else has done. And what the whole, you know, other folks is doing in your little community, your town, your family, <laughs> you know, your circle. You're different. But don't get mad because you're different. Don't, you know, scrunch up because you're different. Be proud of the fact that you're different. There's a reason why you got to be different. <laughs> you know, you might say, oh, I don't like standing out. You ain't got to stand out. Just be. Just be. And sometimes you'll find out people will gravitate towards you because you are making different decisions. Because you do view things differently. You, you know, you go about doing things. You, you know, you make a decision. You solve things differently. There's some things I'm good at. There's some things I ain't. <laughs> some things, you know, confuses my mind. I said my wires get crossed up. <laughs> you know, technology is one of them. I don't like messing with a whole lot of computers. I want to just do tap, tap, tap. Okay, this is what it's doing. What's that right there? Oh, you got to go in there. Uh-uh. The, uh-uh. <laughs> nah, it's messing with my wires. <laughs> I ain't wired that way. <laughs> and guess what? There are things that you're awesome at. And there's some things you don't enjoy doing because it messes with your wires. 
the way you are built, the way you're put together. You're good at things and you see things. And when you see it, you want to cause it to come to pass. You want to cause that thing to, you know, you can see something and, and create it in your mind because you already see how it's supposed to be done. Great, great inventors. That's how they started. They saw something that nobody else saw. And they saw how they can take that and make this. I'm going to take this and I'm going to create that. I'm going to take a nothing and I'm going to make something out of it. That's what, you know, inventors, creators are. And when you are creative, that's what you do. And you don't need somebody, you know, to approve of what you saw. Because you are the only one who saw it. You felt it. You went through it. Whatever it is, you are you and you're different because you were meant to be that way. There's nothing wrong with you. There's nothing wrong with you. I don't care what anybody say. You need to say it to yourself thousands and thousands of times a day. You know, a lot of people use those affirmations. They're speaking great things into their life every day. I am a voice for myself. I love myself. I value myself. I know myself. I ground myself. Speak those things into your life that you want to see, that what you want to believe, that what you want to bring forth. Do not be concerned if nobody agrees with it. How come you doing that? How, if baby, come on, baby, come on. And you're going, baby, come on, baby, baby, come on. Why are you singing like that? We all doing this. You, we own this tap. You doing three taps. You off. Nah, this is how I'm feeling it. <laughs> I'm feeling it this way. <laughs> and you ain't going to make me do the baby come on. When I'm feeling, baby, baby, come on. Baby, baby. <laughs> you know, that's what you got to do. You got to understand that what you have in you, you can't compare it to somebody else's. That's yours. You were born to have what you have. Do not allow anyone to sabotage what you are. What you were created to do. How you were created to move. That's you all day long. <laughs> all day. You see yourself doing that? Do it. Nobody else in my family did it. So what? Be the first. <laughs> Everybody in my family are lawyers. But I just feel led to be uh, an opera singer. Sing, baby. Well, they told me there's no money in being an opera singer. I don't care. Do you? Well, look. Do what you want to do. But if something is in me, and I know it is hungering to be birthed out, that's what I'm going to do. And I, it does not matter to me. I, I was going to tell you, I don't care. But I guess I might have said it anyway. I'm like close. I don't care if nobody agrees with what I'm doing. I don't care if nobody sees it the way I see it. I'm going to do what I feel led to do. Because how I'm led comes from the inside of me, not the outside. I'm not being compared to what somebody else is doing. How are they feeling about it? You know, I see something happening. I'm going to move on. Nobody else see it? Oh, well. <laughs> I, I, I remember a dream one time. It's a dream. And I saw something. Everybody was running. Everybody was running. And they had to handcuff themselves to a chair because a tsunami was coming. Everybody got these handcuffs. They handcuffed their hand to this chair so when the tsunami came that they would not be thrown away. That made sense to most people. It didn't make sense to me. I could not compute <laughs> that information. I'm in this dream. Everybody was doing what they was instructed to do. They were doing it. I couldn't do it. I put the handcuff on my wrist, but I could not handcuff myself to that chair. I just couldn't do I was not led to do that. And I went with my spirit and not with the instructions. I looked and the tsunami was here. All I saw was glass breaking everywhere. And I'm closing my eyes and, oh my God. 
And when the water hit, the water hit me and pushed me straight up to the top. And I'm on top of the water. Looking at all these buildings, looking at boats and, and, and planes and all of this stuff. You know, it was like, you know, this, it was like, wow. Because I was at a transportation center. So there was boats, trains, planes, cars, <laughs> you name it. They were all there. And here I was on the top of this water. Watching all this stuff. I mean, the breeze from buildings. And I'm like way on top, way up here. And I thought while I was up there holding on to something, I don't know what it was. I don't know what it was. I, I was holding on to something. I know surely I wasn't swimming. <laughs> I can tell you that I wasn't swimming. But I thought about that. If I had handcuffed myself to that chair like everybody else was told to do, I would never made it to the top. If I had followed those instructions, I would not have been there. I'm standing. I mean, I'm standing. I'm floating on top of the water. But I'm alive. Watching all of this happening, I'm alive because I did not follow the instructions that they were giving me. Did it make sense? If something doesn't make sense to you, to you, not to them, to you. If it doesn't make sense to you and you are led to do something different, do it different. Everybody's painting purple. You decided, you want, I want something green. I mean, I don't know why she's doing We all doing purple. Well, keep on doing your purple. I'm going to knock the green out. Do what you are led to do. Be the odd one, the black sheep, however way they want to, you know, declare you, label you. It doesn't matter. It's not what, what people say about you. It's what you feel about yourself. How do you feel about you? Do you feel good enough about you to say that what you are doing, you feel good about it? It makes you feel good? You're doing it and you're seeing great things happen because you're doing it that way? Keep on doing you. Do you. Make it look good. Be fabulous at it. You know, you, you can start something new because you're the only one doing it. And later on, people are going to start looking. They're side looking at you right now and looking from your side. And one day they're going to get closer and they're going to peep down and say, I noticed you've been doing something, such thing. Can you show me that? Mm, sure. Be glad to. going to cost you, though. <laughs> going to cost you. <laughs> Because, you know, uh, <laughs> this ain't free season. <laughs> you know, you know, now that's a talent. That's a gift. They said them gifts now, you need to pay for them sometime. <laughs> you got something. And now that what you got is now admired by others. The way you sew, the way you do hair, the way you, you know, you build something from wood or metal. Whatever it is you do, you draw, whatever it is, you swim, you know, aerobics, gymnastics. I don't care what it is. They laughed at Michael Jordan when he was dunking, you know, flying up in the air. What the f Why he got to fly like that? <laughs> but now, swoosh. <laughs> What's that? Swoosh. And what you hear? Now they know why he was flying. He made billions of dollars off of that swoosh. You see them emblems. It's on his brand. You know, just do it. What may be, you know, ridiculous to somebody else when they're viewing you. It's okay. It's okay for them to see you as being ridiculous. It's okay to see, you know, them seeing you as odd, whatever it may be. But you keep doing it. And if you keep doing it because that's what I'm telling you, if that's what you have been created to do, keep doing it. Down the road, hmm. You're going to see why you do what you do and how you do the thing that you do. <laughs> you know, you're going to shoot, baby. <laughs> you're going to make that thing be like, uh, somebody's going to follow you. Somebody's going to want to, you know, mimic what you're doing because now they see, you know what? It's okay, you know, to be that, you know, that the, the silly egg or whatever you want to be, the eyeball out. However, you know, when I used to braid hair, they used to laugh at me. How you braid hair like that? And I was braiding hair. They were saying, because most people braiding their hair down, I braid it up. <laughs> and my style would be just like theirs, but I was just braiding different. Because in my mind, this made sense. That's how I grabbed the hair and I braided it. 
And I was putting all kinds of styles in my children's hair, but I wasn't braiding the way everybody else braided. But I was getting the same thing done. I taught myself how to speed read. You know, I read up, take a book, I can go through a, I could read a book. I used to read two novels throughout the night. And I could tell you what the whole story meant because I could remember. But now that was something I was given and I used it and it got me places. <laughs> you know, whatever it is that you do may be strange to somebody else. It may not look right to somebody else. You know, it might be a little off. You know, it's okay. If that's how you do it and that's how you view it, then you do that. Because it's going gonna, it's gonna to come out the right way. It's okay. So what? They think you're different. Take pride in that. Be different. Yeah, I'm different. I'm looking at so many people who chose to be different. And look how they came out. Look at the stardom. Look at the things they did. Oh my gracious. I look at it. <laughs> the Williams sisters. You know, in a time where they didn't expect, you know, uh, black women to go out here and do what they did. But they did it. Somebody said, keep on doing this. Hey, Y'all ain't going to ever do that. And watch. And they kept on. There's, sometimes it's always going to be odds against you. Einstein, my gracious. They just thought he was just loony. You know, he just was loony. Because his brain was always going. He could, you know, do that math so quickly. He, I mean, he had ways of doing things that was different than somebody else. But look where he at. Look what he did. Look at his history, his legacy. Doesn't matter what somebody else says. It may look crazy. It may look off. I don't care. Be the oddball. Be different. But keep being you. And if you do, you're going to see why you had to do the thing that you do, <laughs> it's all right. Don't try to fit in all the time. Sometimes fitting in is going to cost you problems down the road. Just be you. You will fit. One piece to that puzzle may look a little off. But then when you get to the whole puzzle, and the puzzle's kind of like, mm, something missing. That one piece need to be put in that puzzle. And then the puzzle is just like, that's it. That's it. I needed that. I needed you. And when someone looks at you and says, that's what I needed. That's what I was waiting for. Reporters that dared to go and do things, do a, do a story that nobody wanted to do. They get it. They did something. People broke away from groups and from things and did their own thing because they didn't see it that way. People talk about them at first because they're saying, you know, you should have stayed where you was because, you know, you're not going to succeed at this. It's not going to work. But then time, it, it, it blew up. And they're like, wow, there they are. You know, I seen men start to sew and started making clothes. People, huh, that's just crazy. That's weird. But honey, they was making some money. Then they said, oh, okay. Let me tell you something. Somebody said, you shouldn't be doing this because of your gender, because of your race, because of your age, because of your location, whatever they have said. Do not allow that to define you or stop you. Do whatever it is that you got in you to do. If nobody else is doing it, then you be the trailblazer and you start it. You start that trail and you open the way for somebody else because you can do it. Because you have been considered the one that could never do. Because you won't do what everybody else is doing. <laughs> Why won't you just fit in? Because I'm not meant to fit in. I'm not meant to fit in. I'm meant to be me. And it will fit when it's time, when it matures, when it's settled, when it's complete. I will fit where I'm expected and I'm supposed to fit in. Do not be concerned of where you start. It's where you're going to finish. It's where you're going to be. Today, well, you might got some battles in front of you. A whole lot of people talking about it. They might even be trying to bully you a little bit. Nobody wants to be your friend. <laughs> Remember you little Korean? Nobody wants to be my friend, mama. Oh, you know. I have never told my mother that. 
I have never told my mother that. Nobody wants to be my friend. Who cares? <laughs> I didn't need no friends. I was good. <laughs> I had friends. I always had somebody who would gravitate to me. <laughs> you know, that was never a problem for me. Family, friend, it was never a problem. Even though I felt like, you know, it was, they were there, good. If they wasn't, I was still good. But it was never a problem to me. Because I knew there was something different about me. Sometimes I didn't like it. But as I got older, I embraced it. I knew I was different. I knew I was different in so many ways of my life. And then when I started to put those pieces together and I began to follow those dots and connect them one by one, then I realized how great I really was. And you will too. If you haven't already done it. You probably already know that, didn't you? You didn't need Jenny old y'all telling you that because you already know you fabulous, you great, you wonderful, you amazing. You can do all of this and some more because you are built for that. <laughs> but I just wanted to remind you if you didn't. So you have a fabulous day. Be awesome. Let your light so shine. This is Jenny Oya reminding you, if you have not liked this video and you have enjoyed me, please do. If you have not subscribed, please do. You have a fabulous day. Much love to you.